It's time to start assembling the Jagcaster. We're getting started right now. Okay. I've already put the neck on. We have our Icon plates, Ace of Spades on the back here. Love Icon plates. Awesome. So the neck's on, good to go, nice and sturdy. Next thing we have to do is mount this bridge. Now in order for the screws to actually go into the mounting holes here, I have to take all of these pieces out. As much as I hate to do that, it has to be done. So, need a small enough screwdriver. Oh, let's see. Just to take each one of these out. And try to hold on to the spring. Actually, I probably don't have to take all of them out. I only have to take the ones out that are truly uh, Okay, you can get a better shot of uh, small holes are where the strings come through, bigger hole where the mounting screw goes. Well, actually, I think I do have to take them all out. So, never mind. I'll have to take them all out. I'm gonna take them all out. Kind of put them back in order here. I don't know if it's necessary. They're all the same. All right, one more. Okay. Okay, there we go. Three mounting holes. Okay, you can see our, I don't know if you can see that or not, our holes mount, match up pretty well. It's going to have to be good enough because it's done. What's done is done. Okay. I like to take a little bit of wax, just, just an old tea light candle. A little bit on that tip. Get the screws. A little lubrication to get started. A bigger screwdriver. More suitable to fit. Here we go. A lot of guys like to use power tools to 
drive their screws in and that's that's fine if you have the right kind you have one with the, the clutch that's going to stop the drill from going too far I don't have that my drill is just a drill so if I do use it to put screws in it's generally for something rough rough cut thing not something like this where I wouldn't want to strip it out or drive it in too far this takes a little more effort but so be it Uh, if you see what I'm doing here, I'm holding down, putting some pressure on this and just turning it with this hand rather than trying to do this. This is where you strip screws when you're trying to do, especially when you're working with downward force. This, keep a hand on there. Just go one turn at a time. Switch hands if your arm gets tired. Get that excess wax out of there. I'm not going to put these, I'm just driving them down. A little bit at a time. Now you can see the inaccuracy of my <laughs> drilling here. Uh, they're all off a little bit, not perfect. But once they seat into these recessed holes here, they will uh, look a little better. As long as the string through holes match. Okay, now that one just went snug on me. Okay, so I'm not gonna tighten that any further. That one also went snug. There we go. I had a paintbrush here I was using to remove uh, the excess wax. <laughs> a little too much wax. I should have brushed that out before I drew the screw all the way in. That's all right. Okay, here we go, mounted, it's flush, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but the holes, no, definitely can't see it that way. String holes do match up. Now I just have to put these guys back on here. Okay. Got the string saddle, first one back in. Screw goes in, spring goes over top, saddle up against. Screwdriver. Careful not to mess up the finish. Wouldn't hurt to put a cloth or something down here. While I'm driving the screws in to protect this. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these on. and We'll be back shortly. Alright, there you have it. Hip shot, hardtail, six string bridge, ready to run screws through there, up over top, good to go. Now, my son brought up an interesting point which I overlooked when I made this 
cut on the pick guard this piece I cut off that point that went up here where this horn was had a hole in it for a pick mounting screw pick guard mounting screw that hole is now gone and he brought up a good point that these things have a tendency to curl up on you so before we mount this thing with all the hardware in it and everything I am going to drill another hole in here for another screw but that's not today a couple other things to do first but when we put the pick guard on here and line it up It's on there nicely. Doesn't interfere with the bridge. Bridge doesn't interfere with it, I should say. So we're good to go. Now the next step, which I like to do, is to test out how straight this neck is so oh, I don't want to lose that little Allen wrench for the bridge all right now take my straight edge here and I'm going to put it on here and see if I see any light coming through here and it actually is rocking a little bit and if it's rocking a little bit from end to end means it's a little high in the middle so we're gonna have to adjust this neck down put a little more bow in it okay that what that means is when I put this on here and it rocks the neck is going like this just slightly so what we have to do is adjust the truss rod to put a little bow in here just a little bit uh, if the neck was perfectly straight that would be wonderful these frets they're really they're really nice they're really nicely done they seem to be when I put the straight edge on here there's only a little bit of rock to it now the other way I, I like to do this is with uh, an old bank card this is my fret rocker uh, And I can just go a couple frets at a time, like three frets, and see if this rocks at all. Rocking a little bit up here, just to one spot. Right here. Looks like the 14th fret might be just a tad bit high but once I adjust this truss rod that might not be a problem I'm not going to do too much 
fret work on this. As a matter of fact, I, they seem to be very nice and even. They just need to be polished up a little bit, so. Okay, now with the truss rod on this end, and we're going in this way, it's the same thing when you're tightening any kind of nut, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, if you can remember that. Uh, if there were bow in the neck, if it was going like this, I would want to tighten it up. Tighten this down, pull that bow out. But it's a little too tight, that's why there's a, an upward bow. It's convex, not concave. So that, in that case, you want to go to the left. So I'm just going to put this in here, and I'm just going to turn it about a quarter turn to the left. <clears throat> the thing is when you when you make truss rod adjustments you can sometimes see right away or feel right away the difference this is still rocking rocking and rolling and it might take some time it might take a couple hours it might take overnight but I'm going to give this another Quarter turn, maybe a little more. There we go. <sighs> That's a little better. Still rocking a little bit. Now this, uh, I can't even remember what it's called. This tool, <laughs> this is cut for Fender Styles on one side, Gibson's on the other side. Uh, based on the neck scale, the scale length, spacing of the of the uh, frets but I know when I when I can read the name this way that's fender style so I've got just ever slightly so much just the slightest bit but you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna adjust that anymore because this might overnight this might get more bow in it than I want because I did turn it about eh, just about a, a half of when I say half a turn I mean from from here over to here just about that far so I'm gonna let that go uh, before we put the strings on we're going to give this a polish and before we do any of that, the next thing we have to do is put the electronics into the pick guard and get that ready to install. Because until we get those electronics in here wired up, tested, uh, make sure everything's connected and grounded and working right, then we'll put strings on it. So, next two steps coming up, drill a hole in this, get this ready for electronics, and give these frets a nice polished job and that'll be coming up in the next video at least part of that will one or the other maybe both we'll see see how things go but the important thing is today the neck is on bridge is on we're almost ready to rock and roll
All right, guys, to recap. We mounted the hip shot bridge, we mounted the neck with the icon plates, ace of spades. We adjusted the tension on the neck with the truss rod, truss rod. Don't trust that rod. Uh, next things coming up we have to do, I'm gonna polish these frets because they really are nice, in nice shape. And uh, as far as being level, they all seem to be pretty level, except maybe a little bit around the 14th fret. But I'm not gonna do a fret job on this over one fret. I might address that fret, but we'll address that once I give this little time to uh, adjust itself to that truss rod adjustment. And then we're going to get this pickup, pick guard wired with pickups, mounted switches, pots. We're gonna drill a hole up here where we cut that piece off that had a hole in it originally so that when we do mount the pick guard, we don't have a place where it can warp and curl up. So that's what's coming up. Thanks for tuning in and following this build and come back and watch the next video. We're getting close. Uh, the fun part's coming up, the wiring, get that pick guard wired. And the fret's done, and we'll be able to put some strings on this thing and see how it sounds. So, hang in there. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can catch the rest of these videos. And uh, until next time, take care.